I can't believe I'm doing this. I seriously cannot believe I'm doing this. Should I um, say it again? Probably not. Wait, I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> I am selling pretty much everything on my account. So this is my main account, Kills Moy YT. And to be honest, I don't have the most insane collection of cards. Like usually my team is so much better. But when you look at this page, I have some of the most expensive cards in the game right here. As yes, we've got Invincible Kawhi Leonard, Invincible Luka Doncic, Taco Fall, Out of Position Michael Jordan, Invincible Giannis and so many more. So I was sort of sitting here going, should I do it? And I came up with the answer of, yeah, I should. I feel like this is a bad decision because my main reason for it is I look at players such as Giannis and yeah, I do quite like this card, but with them now releasing players such as Thon Maker, when you compare them, I actually prefer Thon Maker as a player. I know the stats certainly aren't favoring Thon, but I don't know. It's just Thon's length, his body, it's great. And the same goes for this Kawhi. Sure, I love this card, but the question is, is there a 1 million MT difference between Invisible Kawhi and Galaxy Opal Gerald Wallace? I don't know. Like you look at the stats and sure, Invincible Kawhi is obviously going to be better, but 1 million MT is what we're talking about. I don't know. So yeah, this right here is my team I've actually been using. And to be honest, I've been playing like trash. The past two months of 2K have been by far my worst. So I think I decided I have to make some changes. And I'm making a drastic one. I'm uh, selling my whole team. I feel like I'm doing what some people do when they go through a crisis and maybe like shave their head and stuff like that. I'm just saying I'm selling my whole team. Is it a good idea? No. Will it pay off? Probably not. But will we do it? Yes. Now let me get into another reason. And I want to do this. First of all, I really want to complete this Return of the Heroes Champions mural. Now, 2K did say in the article they posted about the new season that this is something that we haven't seen before. So the reward for this is going to be crazy. They said it wasn't a coach, but it was something else. I actually think that it could be a GOAT card, which would be really cool. That means it would be 9-9 everything in every single Hall of Fame badge. So is it worth locking it in? I don't know, but I feel like I would need more MT. Luckily, I was able to pull this MJ and also this Kevin Durant, so we don't have to buy these the next thing is you might see that I'm at 2,744 cards collected. Now I am considering trying to get 1,000 what? Let me do the math. 1,256 extra cards to be able to get to the 4,000 and get Invincible Dirk. Now I don't care about Dirk. I know I'm not going to use him, but what I do want is every single Hall of Fame badge that you get if you complete it. Because just today, I have Thon Maker with 80 Hall of Fame badges sold for over 5 million MT. So I don't know, it could be worth it. The only issue is, is on this account, I really don't grind very often because I do that on my no money spent. So like when you look at the rewards, I really don't have many of these. So that's my biggest issue right now. So I need you guys to let me know in the comment section down below. If I sell everything, do you think I should try and make a run to be able to get those 80 Hall of Fame badges? I uh, really don't know. And real quick, let's see if we can get 1000 likes. As this is a risky move, but we got to do it for the content. Also, before we get to actually selling all these players, we do have a sponsor for this video. So let's get to that. So yes, I'm super excited as this video is once again, again, brought to you by NBA Top Shot. Now I did do a video a while back explaining the basics of NBA Top Shot, but now that you've signed up, you might be asking yourself, what do I do now? So in my last video, you would have seen I open up a pack and I was lucky enough to get these moments. But now you might be wondering, what is a moment? It's a digital collectible that brings together on-court video, action shots, and game stats with guaranteed authenticity secured by the blockchain. And these moments can be purchased and sold with real money, which allows you to collect and also invest in your favorite NBA players. But one thing I love is once you've collected a couple of moments, you can then head over to the challenges tab to get free packs to obtain even more moments. So you know what? Let's do this one. Now I need three dunk moments to be able to get this. So right now we have two, which means I have to buy one more. So let's sell some of my moments. You can see all it takes is just a couple of clicks and now it's listed and hopefully it will sell. And now that that's done, we can now head over to the marketplace to purchase our final dunk moment. I'm going to filter it by dunks in the play type section and then I'm going to purchase the cheapest one. You know we have to get Matisse. So just with a couple of clicks, we now own it and we've completed the challenge to get the pack. So once we open it up, it wasn't too bad at all, especially because it was free. Now NBA Top Shot also reward their users. And just recently, they sent some lucky fans on an all expenses paid trip to a Mavs vs Warriors conference finals game. So yeah, be sure to click my link in the description to sign up for NBA Top Shot. If you do use my link to sign up and purchase the $9 starter pack, Top Shot will give you $20 back. So 
so you can start building your collection with a moment from the marketplace. So be sure to give it a go and thanks to NBA Topshop for sponsoring this video. Anyway, I did actually go out and just empty all my auctions. So these were just sitting in my auctions and we've got a lot of MT from this. This was a lot of Galaxy Opals and so on. But is it now time to do it? Is it now time to sell all of these? I'm so in between as to whether or not I should sell Luca. I don't think I will though. I think I'm going to sell pretty much everything else. So Kawhi, I love this card, but yeah, we're going to send him to our auctions. Yao Ming, I love you too. Sending you to my auctions. Even like this Jalen Green. Andre Kirilenko, I'm sorry. I really like this card too. Joe Johnson. Even Taco. I love this Taco fall, but we got to do it. Larry Bird. Sorry, my friend. Out of position, Michael Jordan. This is such a good card, but he's got to go. Invincible Giannis, who I spent like 1.5 million MT on. Bye. And yes, I think these are all the cards I'm going to sell for now. Even my Giannis has 68 Hall of Fame badges, so even more. Even my Michael Jordan has Hall of Fame blinders and so on. I've added badges to Taco. So I don't know. I'm hoping for so much MT. Is this going to be worth it is the real question. Like Giannis right now is going for well over a million MT. There's not a Kawhi ending very soon, but he's the same going for over a mil. I love this Michael Jordan. There's not many selling right now, but he still goes for so much. So I don't know. I'm so nervous to do this, but I think it's actually time we do it. Let's just sell all the buy now ones first though. So let's say buy to Jalen Green for 45,000. Say buy to Andre Kirilenko for 39,950. Joe Johnson for 34,950. And Larry Bird for 41,950. Now all we have left is five of the most expensive cards in the game. So I'm sorry, boys, but 12 hours we're putting you up and you're all gone. Bye, Giannis. Bye, MJ. We're doing this one too. 12 hours. We'll be able to see how much these cards are actually going to go for. I don't know if this is going to be a great idea, but... I am quite sad to say goodbye because I've used these guys for so long and Kawhi is the final one. Let's say goodbye and wave because it's over. Now, I know you might be saying, yeah, I haven't sold everything, but I pretty much sold my entire team, especially because the other day I actually sold all of these cards. I wish I put it in the video and I kind of regretted it because look at how much they sold for. Kobe for only 700,000, Shaq for 660, Scotty for 475, and then Luca was probably the most surprising at 320. I was happy with that. And we did this a week ago, so I still feel like I kind of got ripped off. Anyway, I'm just hoping it goes a little bit better for all these boys right here. But at least we still have the most expensive card in the game, being Luka Doncic. I'm keeping him. He's just way too good, and I don't want to sell this card. I can't play without him. So now we have so many empty spots in my team. Now, once all these cards sell and we see how much MT I've got, I am actually going to do a spending spree. But as of right now, we've got empty spots, as I said. So I guess we have to put in some players. Maybe Rudy Gay at the starting shooting guard. Yes, Mo Bamba at center. Take out Andrew Wiggins, put in Michael Jordan. Look, I really don't have many point guards. I can't lie about that. Yeah, might have to be like Reggie Theus for now. I don't know. I don't even really have a backup center. What about we, I, I don't know, put in Yao Ming maybe? I don't know. But yeah, this team's not great anymore. But the one thing I will say, I know when every single one of these cards sell, I'm definitely going to pick up Bol Bol. Maybe even one like this with 58 Hall of Fame badges. And hopefully every single one of these champions heroes cards. Because that means we'd be able to add Kareem to the team team, even like Anthony Davis, Hal Gasol, and whoever the reward is too. So I guess now that we've put them all in the auction house, I'll be back in a couple of days and let's see how much they sold for. And yes, we're back. It's been a couple of days. I actually just went to Melbourne and it's exciting because everything has sold. I um, can't believe how ugly my team looks, but you see my MT up there? It's going to increase like crazy because yes, we have 48 auction outcomes. So we're going to start redeeming this. The ones at the bottom are the most expensive, but you're going to have to wait. So let's start doing it. I don't know how much MT I'm going to get up to. I'm hoping at least like 4 million. That's my guess. I think 4 million will be really nice. I can't even redeem my auctions. What am I doing? And why does my voice sound different? I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't talked for a while. I, I don't know. I may have just woken up too. So, you know, don't, don't worry. But we do have a lot of these other cards. Like even just these Galaxy Opals. I never really remember that these cards actually sell for MT. Because when I pull them in my pack openings, I'm just kind of like, yeah, okay, we got that card, whatever. I don't really care. And then they stay in my auctions forever waiting to sell. So I really have to be quicker to selling them because this is going to give us so much MT just selling these Galaxy Opals. Like remember when that Galaxy Opal Ray Allen came out, the Heat version? That's the one that we're just about to redeem the auctions of and we have what? How many? One, two, three, four, five of him. And they're all going for 9k MT each. That's at least like 45,000 MT just like that. So it's pretty nice. And we truly are just racking up the MT by doing this. Like we're getting so much and the funny thing was, all these cards that I'm selling right now are actually duplicates. They're not like other cards that I had in my collection. These are duplicates. So this is pretty much 
free MT that I didn't have before and we're not losing anything. My one regret is actually selling my um, Pink Diamond 75th Anniversary Magic Johnson before the set came out. I feel like so many people would have done that, but we can start seeing my cards now. Yo, I just noticed. Okay, let's go down. Let's see how much they sold for. Okay, Giannis, I'm not too mad about. Michael Jordan, that's actually pretty good because he only had like a couple extra Hall of Fame badges. Taco, I'm a little bit disappointed about. He had quite a few more. Yeah, I feel like that's a bit cheap. But then Kawhi, I'm pretty happy with that too. Just this right here is like 3 million MT, just within these cards. I don't know, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's redeem all my stuff and let's see if we can get to exactly over 4 million MT. I'll be super happy if we do. And I can't lie, doing my maths in my head right now, I think we will. I think we will get over 4 million MT, which is so much, and it's gonna be so exciting to do a little spending spree. So. We're redeeming all these cards. Larry Bird is the final cheapish one. And after that cheapish one, we just ended at 1.28 million MT, which is still a lot, but look at all these cards we have to redeem. So Yao, we'll take that MT. I guess now Taco, we'll take this amount. This is gonna be fire. This Michael Jordan's gonna put us over 2 million MT, which is fire again. Then this Kawhi is easily gonna put us over 3 million because he sold for 1.1, so 3.3. And now Giannis is gonna put us over 4 million MT is what we have. 4.4 mil, that is by far the most I've ever had this year. Look, it might kind of suck because I have this team with it, but you know what? It's fine, I don't really care because I am actually gonna open up these equal chance packs then hopefully we can get a backup center being Hakeem, 15,000, let's do it. I've actually never pulled a hero card out of this. So first one up, that is not what we want. Just a Galaxy Opal. I think Sean Livingston was the only Galaxy Opal in this. So that's who it's gonna be. I feel like this card could actually be pretty cool, but not really who I want. A little bit annoying. So Sean Livingston, hopefully the next one can be Hakeem Olajuwon. We want Hakeem. There's like a 60% chance we should get a Dark Matter and there's a Dark Matter. There's the Dark Matter that we wanted. We need it to be Hakeem. I want a hero card. We haven't pulled one from these equal chance packs yet. Let's flip it and let's see Hakeem Olajuwon. No team. Okay, it is. But this means it's going to be Danny Granger, which is actually a really good card. I said last time that I didn't have a point guard, so maybe Danny Granger is going to be the card that we use now that we just sold our Matt and Michael Jordan. Yeah, I'm happy we pulled him. Let's go. Kind of funny that that's my reaction to getting a Dark Matter, but that's the way it is now. Now that equal chance pack is sold out, let's do one swish. One normal swish pack for Invincible Hakeem Olajuwon. Let's get it. That ain't it. Okay, we'll land on that. But yeah, at least now this is what our team's looking like. Even after selling pretty much everything, it's actually still really nice. And it looks like now if I sold my Luka Doncic, we'd be at like 7 million MT. That's unreal. So what do you guys think? Do you think 7 million MT would be enough to be able to get 4,000 cards and get all the Hall of Fame badges? Be sure to let me know in the comment section because I'm highly considering doing it. It would mean I'd have to sell Luka, but probably worth it. It would also make for some fire content. So yeah, I don't know, but one of my videos coming up will be a spending spree and I am so excited for that so that we can hopefully get a good team again. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Be sure to smash that like button. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's see if we can get a thousand likes. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.